C-section rates are skyrocketing and it has nothing to do with mothers or babies. The World Health Organization says only 10 to 15% of births require a C-section for true medical emergencies. But in reality, many countries are seeing double, triple, even five times that rate. In the US, it's 32%. In Brazil and the Dominican Republic, it's close to 60%, with some private hospitals hitting 90%. So what's driving the surge? Experts point to malpractice fears, financial incentives, and the convenience of scheduling births. C-sections are faster, more predictable, and often more profitable than long, unpredictable labors. In rising inductions, routine epidurals, limited midwife access, and outdated hospital policies like once a C-section, always a C-section, the number numbers climb even higher. But this spike comes with consequences. Babies born via C-section show higher rates of asthma, allergies, and obesity, likely due to missing exposure to beneficial vaginal microbes. Mothers face longer recoveries and higher risks of complications in future pregnancies. Health organizations worldwide are now urging hospitals to reduce unnecessary interventions, support vaginal births after C-section, and integrate more midwife-led care. Bottom line, C-sections save lives. But when overused, they create a new set of risks. Understanding the rise is the first step to improving outcomes for mothers and babies. Follow for more crazy health news.